on a very rainy day in Manchester. Uh, we're at Yule's Motorcycles, uh, right in the heart of Manchester Centre, and we're gonna take you inside, uh, out the weather, and we're gonna show you around our store. As you come into the store, on the right-hand side here, we've got the um, service counter. So that's where you bring your bike to service. Um, Kimberley and uh, Hayden are on there today and they, they do a wonderful job of booking stuff in and um, they're good for parts inquiries and, and, and clothing and all that as well. We have a couple of bikes, sort of the latest models by the door. As we move through the store, we're actually just taking delivery some clothing at the moment, which is in the, in the process of putting it out. So that's quite a, quite, we have quite a bit of Triumph clothing, good range of t-shirts, quite a bit of clothing on this wall, um, both rider clothing and sort of fashion clothing as well. And then we have shoe berth helmets and we do showy helmets. So we have a good range of, bit of a sale on at the moment, but uh, maybe when you're watching this video, that won't be on, I don't know, but it, we're just changing over on the season. So um, some good deals on show is usually and, uh, and shoe berths. Um, we tend to have, this is like what we sell, our, our new bikes downstairs, unregistered, some stuff waiting to go out. Uh, we are a little, we're just before March the 1st as we're doing this video. so. Um, we have quite a bit of stuff about us, I mean, they're quite well waiting to go out on, on the new registration, which is, which is good. We have a good range of accessories, we keep quite a, a good range of new Triumph accessories in store. Um, and our sales guys can, can help with, with any quiet inquiry really, and they'll, they're always keen to talk and, and, and go through whatever your requirements are. Um, customer toilets are here, and then we'll, we'll make a move upstairs and we'll have a look at the used section, because most of our used bikes are upstairs. We have a lift to get them up. People often say, how do you get the bikes upstairs? Well, we obviously don't ride them upstairs. We, we take them up in the lift. We keep a good range of used bikes. Uh, we, we're always keen to take a part exchange. Uh, we have some second-hand Triumphs and some second-hand all makes and models up here. So quite a range of stuff. Um, from Rockets to Speedmasters and T120s and BMWs. and. Um, there's so a separate section up here for um, Piaggio, um, Vespa um, and Aprilia small bikes. Um, so we have a good range of, of scooters and, and three wheels, of course, the MP3 as well, which works well. We have a customer waiting area, which we have soft drinks. Um, and we also have a coffee machine over here. It's on free vend, so you can just come in, get yourself a cup of coffee. And I'm going to have one over here, so push that under there. Then straight forward, select. Bean to cup, it's beans to cup. Americano, that's the drink of choice. And uh, boom, there we go. A free cup of coffee. Which if you just want to come down and talk about motorbikes or do whatever, you're more than welcome to. And you're more, there's quite a few customers that we know and we've known for years that come in on a regular basis and they just come for sometimes a cup of coffee and a bit of, bit of a motorbike fix, which is uh, particularly winter, you need that, don't you? You need that motorbike fix. This is interesting, this, this shows you the commitment to motorcycling. Um, we pretty much, a lot of us come on a bike, it's a really rainy, horrible day today. Um, and there's still quite a good turnout on motorbikes because it's the best way to get around the town. So that's a really, really good. And here's where we have our lunch. So if we have our lunch, here we are. We have a nice little canteen, which is <laughs> set up for having some lunch. <laughs> we have bike storage up here um, that we put stuff out of the way. Um, at the minute, we are a bit ram with stuff. But you know, if it's if it's sold and um, uh, you know, particularly maybe a while, we can put stuff out of the way. It's quite a useful bit of a, an area, really. Uh, and this is our turntable here, where we do our photography. So, if we a bike that you see on the internet, that's where it's been photographed. So we um, an MLT bay here. So we do MLTs, um, four technician's bays, five actually, including that one there that we use. Rick's doing a good job of allotting a scooter here. It's going to be like brand new that in a minute. <laughs> um, also all the Triumph special tools on the walls. Um, so we're pretty well set up in here to do virtually anything. These are parts bins. So these bins here are pre-picked parts ready for jobs. So, so this job here is a customer's bike. We've obviously done a, a service bulletin on this, which requires new brake pads for the manufacturer. So his, his job sheet and his brake pads are all there ready for when he comes in. And then we can uh, just pull them out and, and put them straight into the, into the workshop.
So this is a bit unique to our Triumph Manchester store. Um, this was given to us by Triumph when we um, built the store initially, because it was the first Triumph World store to be built out of the ground at the time. Um, a lot of the stores that had been built prior to this had been existing buildings that had been converted. So this was presented to us by Triumph. Um, a guy called Steve Cooper, who was the dealer development manager at the time, um, orchestrated it. And the fascinating thing about it is, if you look at every um, VIN number on um, the VIN plate actually, it has the name of the design engineer uh, and factory two who stamped onto the VIN plate of, of, of who built this. So this is an absolutely unique piece of Triumph heritage that we're really proud to have really because it's just so different and nobody else has got one and there will never be. It's the only piece of furniture that's ever been made in the Triumph factory and it's the only piece that ever will be made because I believe it costs an absolute blooming fortune to do when they put the sort of design engineers time into it. Um, so it is really quite special and uh, we have our t-shirts on it and we're really, you know, we're really proud to have it and, uh, and look after it. So thanks for uh, watching the sort of tour of our Triumph Manchester um, showroom. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed looking around. Um, we, we're really proud of it, we like it. It's a really lovely, cool place. Um, some fantastic stuff in here, some fantastic people as well that work with us. Um, we're, I think the, one of the key things, I, I still often wonder why we do this and why we're so involved with it. And it's really just because we like riding motorbikes. So we do love motorbikes. We're all, I think we're pretty much obsessed with them, to be honest with you. So um, I hope that helps.